Welcome back to RPG PhD, your ultimate guide to mastering tabletop role-playing games. I'm your host, Dr. Ben, and today we're diving into one of the most exciting and creative aspects of being a game master, crafting house rules. Today we'll be exploring the how, why, and some essential guidelines for creating solid house rules to enhance your tabletop RPG experience. Tabletop role-playing games are known for their flexibility and the creative freedom they offer both players and game masters. One of the most powerful tools in a GM's arsenal is the ability to craft house rules, custom modifications to the official rules of a game. House rules can enhance gameplay, tailor experiences to the preferences of your group, and address specific issues or imbalances within the game. However, crafting effective house rules requires careful consideration to ensure they contribute positively to the gaming experience without causing unintended consequences. There are several reasons why a GM might want to implement house rules. Enhancing fun. The primary goal of any house rule should be to make the game more enjoyable for everyone involved. This could mean adding new exciting options for players, simplifying complex rules, or creating thematic elements that better fit the story you're telling. Sometimes, official game mechanics can create imbalances that affect the enjoyment of the game. House rules can help level the playing field, ensuring all players feel their characters are equally valuable and powerful. House rules can streamline overly complicated systems, making the game more accessible and faster paced. This can be particularly useful for newer players or for groups who prefer a more narrative focused experience. Some rules might require extensive bookkeeping or frequent reference to rule books. House rules can ease the workload for both the GM and players, allowing everyone to focus more on storytelling and interaction. Remember, it's your game, so feel free to create any house rules that work best for your group. The beauty of tabletop RPGs lies in their flexibility and the ability to tailor the experience to your collective preferences. However, if you'd like some guidance to ensure your house rules enhance the game without causing unintended issues, here are some tips and tricks for you to consider. Identify the purpose. Clearly define what you want to achieve with your house rule. Is it to enhance fun, balance mechanics, simplify gameplay, or ease the player's or GM's burden? Understanding your objective will guide your design process. Evaluate the impact. Consider how the house rule will affect the game. Will it make certain characters or abilities too powerful or too weak? Think about the potential ripple effects, the cascade effect of changing one rule and how it might impact other areas of the game. Test and adjust. Implement the house rule on a trial basis and gather feedback from your players. Be open to adjusting the rule based on their experiences and suggestions. Playtesting is crucial to ensure the rule works as intended. Keep it simple. The best house rules are easy to understand and implement. Avoid creating overly complex rules that require extensive explanations or constant reference during gameplay. Balance is key. Aim for house rules that balance the game rather than skew it in favor of or against certain players or characters. If a rule disproportionately benefits or hinders a particular group, it might need revising. Unless, of course, you are creating house rules to make encounters more difficult or to make the game grittier and more dangerous. Just ensure that these changes enhance the overall experience for your group without making the game unfair or frustrating for the players. Document your rules. Over the years, I have forgotten more house rules than I have ever written down. I wish I had all of them. That's why it's crucial to document your rules. Clearly write down your house rules and share them with your players. This ensures everyone is on the same page and can refer back to the rules when needed, keeping your game consistent and well organized. Not all house rules are created equal. To ensure your modifications enhance the game, it's important to distinguish between good and bad. Here's some ways to identify them. Compare your house rule to existing game mechanics. A good house rule should complement and enhance the existing system without overshadowing or undermining it. If your rule significantly outperforms or underperforms compared to similar mechanics, it might need adjustment. Your players' experiences and opinions are invaluable. Good house rules generally receive positive feedback and improve the overall enjoyment of the game. If players find a rule confusing, unbalanced, or detrimental to their experience, it may be a bad house rule that needs revisiting. Analyze the impact on the game's balance. A good house rule maintains or improves balance, making the game fair and more enjoyable for all participants. Bad house rules often create new imbalances, making certain characters or abilities too powerful or weak. Simplicity and clarity. Good house rules are simple and easy to understand. They should be clearly written and straightforward to implement. If a house rule is overly complex or requires frequent clarification, it may be a bad rule that disrupts the flow of the game. 
fun and engagement. Ultimately, a good house rule makes the game more fun and engaging. It adds excitement, depth, or new dimensions to the gameplay. If a rule detracts from the enjoyment or feels like a chore, it's probably not the keeper. By carefully evaluating your house rules using these criteria, you can ensure that they contribute positively to your game and enhance the experience for everyone involved. One of the challenges of implementing house rules is managing the cascade effect, where a change to one rule causes unintended consequences throughout the game system. For example, increasing the damage of a particular spell might inadvertently make certain encounters too easy, requiring adjustments to monster stats or encounter designs. To mitigate the cascade effect, Take a holistic view. Consider how the rule interacts with other mechanics. Think through the possible chain reactions and test the rule in different scenarios to see how it holds up. Incremental changes. Make small incremental changes rather than large overhauls. This makes it easier to identify and address any negative impacts. Consult with your players. Engage your players in the rulemaking process. They can provide insights into how changes affect their characters and the overall game dynamics and a regular review. Periodically review and reassess your house rules. As the game evolves, so too might the need for adjustments to your custom rules. Handling player requests for house rules. It's common for players to suggest house rules to improve their experience or address specific concerns. Here's how to handle these situations effectively. Listen and consider. When a player suggests a house rule, listen to their idea with an open mind. Consider the reasoning behind their request and how it might benefit the game. Players often have valuable insights that can enhance the gameplay experience for everyone. Discuss with the group. Bring the suggestion to the group for discussion. This ensures transparency and gives everyone a chance to weigh in. Group consensus is important to maintain fairness and ensure that any changes are accepted by all players. Evaluate the impact. Assess the potential impact of the suggested rule on the overall game. Consider how it might affect game balance, interactions with existing mechanics, and the fun factor. Be mindful of the cascade effect where changing one rule might have unintended consequences throughout the system. Test the rule. Implement the suggested house rule on a trial basis. This allows you to see how it works in practice and gather feedback from the players. Make it clear that the rule is being tested and may be adjusted or discarded based on its effectiveness. Seek feedback. After playtesting the rule, solicit feedback from the players, discuss what worked, what didn't, and any improvements that could be made. Player input is crucial for refining the rule and ensuring it enhances the game. And then make a decision. Based on the feedback and your own observations, decide whether to keep, modify, or discard the house rule. If the rule is successful and adds to the enjoyment of the game, integrate it into your documented house rules. Maintain flexibility. Be open to revisiting and adjusting house rules as needed. Games and players evolve, and what works well at one point might need tweaking later on. Handling player requests for house rules with consideration and a structured approach helps a create a collaborative and dynamic gaming environment where everyone feels heard and valued. Crafting house rules is an art that requires balancing creativity with practicality. The ultimate aim is to enhance the enjoyment of the game for everyone involved while maintaining a fair and balanced system. By following these guidelines and remaining open to feedback and adjustments, GMs can create house rules that enrich their tabletop RPG experiences and bring their unique vision to life. That's it for today's episode on crafting and evaluating house rules. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to hit the like button, subscribe, and share your favorite house rules in the comments section below. Thanks for watching RPG PhD. See you next time.